Hello everyone, and I am very happy to show everyone what they voted on to see. It is the uh, Medicom Vinyl Collectible Doll of Jessica. Now, I had a poll just to see like who would want to see what, and a couple of a couple of things that I had when I was going through storage to find out what was what was in there. And I, I did forget I had this, but it was in storage, and it has been in storage um, since 2011. And I saw it, and I said, you know what, I'm taking this home. I want to take this out of storage, because I want to see it. It's just a vinyl plastic statue. It came directly from Japan, but it just seems to be one of those really rare, one of those, one of those collectibles that a lot of people didn't get at the time and I remember just sort of tracking it <laughs> very very closely way back it was 2003 or 4 and I I knew I was gonna get it I was waiting I knew they did Roger first and then they did do Benny the Cab as well so here is the actual statue itself I can see if I can get it without the glare and I will take it out I haven't taken it out <laughs> in I probably since I bought it, honestly, I, I don't, I haven't taken it out since then. Uh, but I'll show you how the box looks. It's, it's not too exciting, but it's, you know, it's got the Roger Rabbity colors to it, and you can see there is a uh, Roger, Jessica, and Benny on the back. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, or you know, a lot of people who are Jessica fans, maybe who are younger, don't know this, but Jessica had pins that were starting to be released back in the day and it started in about 2003 it just kind of happened out of nowhere don't know why don't know who at disney was on jessica's side there but she started to have pins really released of her like one a month or something like that and then it started to become a little bit more frequent and a little more frequent and she became one of the biggest characters to be released as pins and i there was actually one month I think, I, I want to say it was 2007, but maybe it was 2008 or something like that. There was one month where there were 30 Jessica pins released just in a month. So that's how many pins, like, that's how popular she became. So secondary merchandise was coming out of her at that time. So it, it was really, it was a very exciting time for me, I'll tell you that. But it was just an exciting time to see all the things that were coming out. In the prototype, she is a little bit different because, and it is on the back of the box too, because the eye is closed because she's supposed to be doing that sort of singing pose and the eye was closed for the prototype, but the eye is actually open in the actual statue that was produced. So that is a little bit different and I think the, um, maybe the eyeshadow was a little bit different in tone or, or whatnot. Um, I did have Roger and I did sell him a long time ago. He wasn't completely in scale with Jessica. So it, it threw that, and neither, and neither was Benny. Benny was not in scale with all three. He was kind of tiny. It, it was like this, but it, his box was turned to the side. So he fit in this box, and he was, t he was kind of tiny. So he didn't quite fit in scale with, he didn't fit in scale with Jessica at all, and he didn't even fit in scale with Roger either. There was a, one website called Hobby Link Japan is where I got this, and they had them. And I know I followed. I know I followed and followed to make sure if, if it really was her. And then, it, sure enough, it was because the pictures were released. And I had to look up, like, how can I order this? Do I order this directly from Japan? And then there was this site that I found called Hobby Link Japan that uh, is a distributor of things so i think it comes you know from japan to this place and then out to you so uh i was very very <laughs> very much and it wasn't a lot like i know they're going for hundreds i mean i think maybe a thousand dollars i gosh at the time i don't even i don't even think it was like 35 dollars or something like that or 40 dollars i i i maybe somewhere around there i can't i can't remember and this is 2003 so you I mean almost 20 years ago i can't even believe that that's like insane i cannot believe that i i'm still happy with uh jessica herself so let me see if i can 
open this. I don't even know. I I think I opened it. Yeah, it looks like looks like I did from the from the little bend in the in the box here. And this is a good sturdy box that it came in. But there were a whole bunch of, they did a whole, this was a whole series, these vinyl collectibles. They did, you know, Toy Story, they did, you know, the, the Mickey Minnie, they, they did all the characters that you could, you could imagine. Yeah, I'm nervous to take her out because I, I haven't taken her out in so long, so I'm afraid. I'm just like, oh, please, please have stayed in, in one piece. You see that I, I I was cleaning my hands even to I, sh I should have worn gloves. So she does come with a display base. A reason I really never took her out of the box is whenever I've seen her that people have left her displayed, and she has a tendency to start leaning, like leaning over. You know I don't I don't know I don't know if that's something to do with the base or or something. So um, I, I, I don't take her out. This is literally the first time that I've had her out and on, sitting on a, a, a shelf like this. So she's about 10 inches tall. Uh, this is just like one of the best statues that there is, honestly. Um, yeah, she could be a little top heavy. That is a, that is a possibility. I'll, I'll do a little turnaround for you because I know people don't get to see this very much. But... Um, I mean, I even love from the back. Look how perfect she looks from the back. You know, they they got her character, they got her pose, they got her, you know, expression. You know, the 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 chest going this way, but the leg going that way. <laughs> you know, going she's going in two different directions somehow. And it's it's just so cool. It's just one of the best. The dress is a regular color but there's a little like shimmer to it like there's a little bit of a shimmer to the plastic that you can't really see but it it does look pretty nice it's just kind of a, a pearlized uh it's not really overt or anything like that and you didn't really see that until you got her and got her out of the box so and there you can see she does have the open eye unlike the prototype only thing I guess I would complain about is that her earring is a little too much like her hair color, as you can see. So, otherwise, I would say it's it's perfect. They made the they made the gloves a little bit of a lighter purple too from the um, the prototype. So she's got the mouth open singing. We don't see that very much either. We don't see like her in an actual singing pose or anything like that very often like sometimes in the pins and stuff but it certainly hasn't been in the statues or, or any of the the collectibles that we see too too much so and then so she came with this clear base i'll have to say it's still clear if there's no like yellowing to it or anything yes yeah, so the hair and i noticed that too if you're talking about this the hair is separate it's a separate piece and there is another eye there and that was that really impressed me because they didn't need to do that and it made it look so much nicer like it it just it had just such a better flow to the way her face is presented that it it just looks seamless even though I, that's that's obviously where the, the seam would be the the hair is a whole separate piece it looks like the upper body is then the arms then obviously the dress is all one piece and then the leg and then the foot at the bottom and you can see she has those heels. They did give her the actual heels, you can see. So I was happy about that because sometimes, you know, they, it's hard to do that. So they kind of don't do that. They kind of make it like one a bigger shoe that looks a little strange or make it one piece or something like that. So this was probably the most detailed, the most character accurate. And I, I would say that I was the most impressed with this the only other one even though it's, it's hard to compare is the uh, sideshow collectibles premium format statue and that's another one i do have it but i don't 
I don't display it because I'm really nervous about that one. That one's so fragile and so the, the fingers are separate and they're small and her, her feet are small. And so I'm, I'm so nervous to just display that. And, but that is, I, I would say that's probably the best statue that there is of her probably ever. And then there's, you know, then there's this when we're talking about accuracy and, and how it looks and all that. You know, funny enough, I mean, because there are so many great statues and there are so many great things that have come out. Like, they're, they're all the Classics Collection statues. Those were made by uh, Disney and UNESCO and they were meant to be very specific. But I would say I, I like this one even better than those. And those were like official, made by Disney, expensive statues. This was not even a quarter of the price that those were. Like those were like 250 or something like that. I, I don't even think this was 50. But yeah, this is hard to find now. You can't really find her uh, for uh, less than a couple hundred dollars. Um, I, you know, it changes, it goes up and down, but for this one, I've only seen the price for this go up or stay at sort of a, a steady, you know, a steady price of, of staying up there or going up or a couple hundred or something like that. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I'll maybe take a couple of pictures since I have her open, since she hasn't been open in a decade, <laughs> and I will post them online. Of course, I'll keep this uh, video up online too, and maybe we'll do this again. I'll see what's in my storage unit. And, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's a treasure trove in there when I went. I've, there were things that I forgot that I had.